Today, in this special autobiographic episode, I am going to talk about what apparently everyone is most interested in. Me. To be more precise, what radios me currently carries in my Jeep and what kind of toys I carry with me either on my person or in my Jeep, whether I am off-roading or just driving it to the mall to take pictures of it. And to be even more precise, I'm not talking about every single thing that I carry in my Jeep. I will be talking only about things that I use for communications and navigation, what toys I have, and what I carry on me, on my person. And to answer the big question that many people ask all the time is what radio do I use in my Jeep? And the mobile radio that I currently use in my Jeep is a Motorola XTL 5000 connected to a Midland MXTA 26 antenna. The XTL 5000 is a 110 watt radio and it is not FCC Part 95E approved for transmitting on GMRS. So of course, I only monitor the GMRS frequencies. But I do operate under an FCC business license and that allows me to transmit at a full 110 watts and also allows me to digitally encrypt my transmissions. My wife has the exact same radio in her Jeep so we can have private encrypted chats between us on those long drives home after off-roading. When I am in the Jeep and adventuring and I stop the Jeep and get out, I strap on this Motorola XTS 2500. This is a very rugged radio and like the XTL 5000 in my Jeep, this radio is not a consumer GMRS radio and it is not approved by our overlords at the FCC to transmit on GMRS frequencies. Just like the XTL 5000 in my Jeep, I have my XTS 2500 set up to transmit on GMRS in the event of an emergency and this radio also does encryption, so when talking to either of my other two Jeeps, I can have encrypted conversations. As you can see, it has a bright yellow case that everyone always makes fun of, but that yellow case makes it easy to find if I drop it or leave it laying around somewhere when I'm out adventuring. Now, as many of you probably know, but sadly, many people actually do not know, when out off-roading and adventuring, there is usually no cell phone service and often no repeaters around. So should an emergency arise, we are on our own. And that is why I just started carrying this in my Jeep every time I go out adventuring, a Garmin InReach Mini 2. This little baby lets me send text or emails from pretty much anywhere in the world via the satellites in space. And it also lets whoever is at home see exactly where I am on a map at any time. And it also has this little SOS button, which I can use to call for help from pretty much anywhere on the planet if I'm having a really bad day. Speaking of Garmin, I also have a Garmin Mini 2 dash cam mounted in the Jeep that records video all the time so I can preserve my favorite off-road memories. And of course, I always have my phone with me, which is an old iPhone 11 Pro Max. When I'm off-roading and adventuring, I use the Gaia, 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 Maps app on the phone, which displays on my CarPlay head unit in the Jeep. The Gaia Maps app also lets me download offline maps so I can view them when I'm off-roading in the middle of nowhere with no cell service, so I hardly ever get lost. And I never leave the house without my trusty Sig Sauer P239 9mm lead tosser. I use this crossbreed Kydex holster that attaches to my crossbreed belly band for comfortable yet fashionable concealed carry, or if I'm driving, it fits nicely in a secure spot within reach. Pretty much the only other things I carry is my wallet, which always has large copious amounts of cash, and my keys with an air tag in case I lose them on the trail. You would be surprised how many people lose their Jeep keys while off-roading. The last thing you want to do is lose your keys in the middle of the desert. You'll note that I have two Jeep keys, one for my Jeep, one for my wife's Jeep, and she also carries two keys, one for her Jeep and one for my Jeep. And that's pretty much all I carry with me when I go off-roading, adventuring, or down to the mall to impress the chicks. What do you carry? What am I missing that I should be carrying? What critical piece of equipment do I not have that I should? Leave a comment and let me know.